Good evening, River West, and this is Spider Mike Saturday Night on River West Radio. And my first shout out goes out to Miss uh, Mister Alexander, who let me borrow his guitar while my old lady is in the shop. Yeah, she, she kind of she broke one of her pins. Um, her neck is starting to twist a little bit, and we we want her to sit there and have a good time. So we've got the best people on the job. In the meantime. Uh, we got this pretty little um, Art Luthier uh, job. I'm going to tune this up, and this might sound even a little prettier. But, uh, you know, like I can see, give me a break. I'm running a little late. It's been a long week, and I don't breathe as, I don't breathe as well as I used to, because uh, I just found out we got emphysema, so. All right, let's check this. Okay, yeah, it's time to tune it up. Oops, that's not me, is it? That's you? All right. Let's tune this little girl up. Okay, that sounds good enough. And how about all you River Westians? Did you make it through the week? Did you enjoy the cooler weather? That's just a taste of things to come. Thank God I could finally breathe for a couple of days. But it's been a long, long week. It's been a long, long month. Thank God we're back into uh, August. The dog days of August were already upon us. Um, now it's going to maybe cheat us and give us an early fall. But in the meantime... still in the works guys uh like i say every week if you have something to help me out with uh give you co-writing credit and we'll see what goes on yeah and okay well we're waiting another four or five minutes um one of my little buddies uh he shall remain nameless because that was a deal i made with him he will be coming uh calling in with the conspiracy of the week okay like we don't have enough of them already right and remember to get out and vote on the 14th. That is, that is Tuesday. Vote for, vote for the folks you think will do the best. If you don't vote, you can't bitch. I said this time and again, and you know I got a lot to bitch about because you guys know uh, some of the people I hang with. So, all right, we're gonna we're, we're gonna try some of my newer stuff and see if we can't uh, get through some things and maybe have one or two of you folks. I don't care if you call me from the moon, from Australia, from England, or from, you know, down the street on Holton Avenue. And, oh, yeah, uh, Liz, Taylor, Alex, uh, shout out. Okay, I'll be back for the for the housewarming in about uh, 45 minutes. Okay, and here's a little something that I've been working on. It's called Fast Track Training. <laughs> Right 
ride on a fast track chain and no way Gonna ride it to the bitter end This life that I've been living Won't be so forgiving And I've got a lot of dues to pay along the way third verse of that song but we'll sit there and we'll check it check it check it okay uh the week it was um it finally rained and we enjoyed that we didn't get wet milk but then again we aren't related to the wicked witch of the west we aren't that wicked well we're not wicked in that way and uh, well I, fi I finally did uh set my mother's ashes to rest we thank uh thank you with no help from uh my family uh, but uh, you guys in this neighborhood actually are my new family, and I appreciate you guys stepping up to the plate and helping me through uh, what was pretty a, we a weird uh, a weird time because I also found out that I do have emphysema. Uh, I'm still ornery and bullheaded enough to sit there and think I can still live the way that I, I did, but uh, it's finally done. I mean, it's time for me to slow down a little bit, so everything else being in place. Ladies and gentlemen, we still need um, somebody to rent us a garage so we can fix our stuff. And, uh, well, with school coming up, I'll be able to sit there and come back here and there. And we need to take care of uh, each other, the rest of them, and no matter how much they irritate us and piss us off. Because in the end, we love each other. You know this. I know this. And now it's time for another song. <laughs> Drinking with all my friends, know the party hardly ever ends. When dawn approaches, we begin our next time to praise the porcelain god. We drink whiskey, we drink gin, we drink and drink, and we drink again. When it's all over, and we've blown our water, it's time to praise the porcelain god. Backyard, we drink in the day. We drink in your bedroom. Well, then I don't know when. We go 
outside We drink in the yard And then it's time to praise the porcelain god Okay. Well, I guess we don't have our conspiracy of the day this week. I'm going to have to sit there and find out if he's been caught, detained uh, against his will, or if he's just too damn drunk to sit there and remember the phone number. Well, this is what you had to deal with day in, day out. Now, you know, I'm your friendly neighborhood superhero, and one thing, I, I appreciate uh, the avant-garde um, Arty and um, shall we say uh, eccentric uh, individualism that everybody shows, but dudes, ladies, if you promise to call at a certain time, please call. If it's not physically possible, um, you know I'm I'm always there and I do what I say. And if I don't, I apologize and I make up for it as soon as I can. Come on, let's let's get it together, kids. Well, look at these big clouds coming again. Uh-oh, we've got a call. Hello, Spider Mike Saturday Night. Who's calling? Spider Mike. It's the conspiracy dude. Dude, okay. See, I told you. Well, a little better late than never. Uh-oh, were the black helicopters over your head? That's why you couldn't call earlier? No, I couldn't get away get away from my handlers. Uh-oh, see? That's that's the way it goes, folks. That's what it was. So, how are we doing otherwise? Oh, uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, I got the handlers tied up in the back, and uh, I thought I'd give you a call and give you a little bit of info. Super um, duper. Uh, we can always use the updates. Exactly. From the underground here. So, a couple of things for you. Uh, some of you people may know about uh, uh, how we've doped up ourselves, doped up our children, thinking that a two-year-old child having a temper tantrum is abnormal. Well, some of you may want to be considering watching a documentary called The Marketing of Madness, Are We All Insane? Website that you can visit is topdocumentaryfilms.com. The title is The Marketing of Madness, Are We All Insane? Uh, okay. I don't think so. We just, uh, they would just want us to think we are. Oh, of course, yeah. yes. Because I, hey, that's why they call it the terrible twos in the first place, right? Terrible twos, and then when you get older, it's the terrible nineties. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. When you're right. when you're in your second childhood, you're just eccentric and bullheaded. But that's the way it goes. Yeah, and I think that's why when you have your your most clarity over what's happening to you, and you don't like it. Exactly. And I think they're they're trying to suppress that. You know, I I agree with you big time on there. There's nothing wrong with somebody uh, whining and bitching and twos. They're trying to find out how far um, they can push it how far the envelope is, what they can and can't get away with. Always. I mean, you see that in nature, come on. Just, you know, just because we can uh, feed ourselves without having to rip it out by our teeth doesn't mean that we're any different than the rest of them. So, uh, another thing for you. Here's something that came in on the wire today. A woman in Florida was stopped for... Uh, I think using her cell phone um, while she was driving, and the police decided to forcibly remove a tampon from her. Uh-oh. Where was the tampon at, if yes, I may we ask? Don't, we don't want that, not in any sort of... Uh, okay, yes, yeah, this, this is public radio of a sort, so yeah. Okay, so they, they went above and beyond the call to remove the tampon. Yes. Okay. This is, uh, okay, I, 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 I've seen a half a dozen rules that just breaks uh, our laws right away. Yeah. And, um... Illegal search and seizure. Uh, let's call, let's call um, statutory rape. And nothing else. Could be. 
One more thing. Uh, there are currently no UFO sightings in the area. There have not been any in the last seven days, so I think we're okay there. Um, I hope everyone's wearing their tinfoil hat. Oh, no. I, I, I parked it for, for the month. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, well. I, I can don't see. Uh, only when the moon is half full can, uh, will it have enough uh, juice because it's, uh, oh. it's at, at, you know, at, um, uh, the sine and cosines and all this. You go use all the geometry so I can get to all the all the energy to um, to lift off. You know, when it's my own little other hot rod, ha. Huh? Oh uh, well, that's good. As long as it's not battery operated, we don't want you shocking yourself. Oh no 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 no. I re- I resist electroshock therapy on that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. And also, uh, did you get up uh, Thursday for the for the open mic? I was not there, unfortunately. Oh. Again, my my handlers like to keep a little bit of a strain on me. Okay, which is you know, uh, you know, I understand why they want to, but I don't understand why they need to. No, they don't need to. I kind of like it. Okay, okay, so it's just something to keep uh, keep the peace, as it were. When I, it's what I do uh, in place of a day job. Okay, well, I, as long as you get paid for it, I'm, I'm mad at you. And uh, as long as you can sit there and uh, call us up uh, every week and give us uh, the real 411, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's extra. That's gravy on a biscuit. Gravy Ooh, on the biscuit. Hello, sweetheart. Come on, she looks cute. Okay, sorry, yeah, I can see that because I'm out in front. All right, um, are you going to be up next Thursday? I will be out next Thursday. This will be cool. All right, so uh, I thank you for calling. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what he just said. Uh, let's recap. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, about the terrible twos. Is uh, is madness? You know, uh, the marketing of madness. It's the marketing of madness. Are they really? Are they really crazy? Or are they just going through growing pains? We like we did and our, our generations and generations before and then you know it putters out in time when you find out where you're you know I, I think these people don't have uh, any friends or any time to do anything else but come up with weird ass off the wall shit of course and, uh, now if they would apply that to uh, music or uh, sculpture or any type of other art be it drama be it uh, be it painting be it dance Okay, yeah, and then you can tell your story that way, but, dude, you know, uh, I'm sorry, this just just ain't working. Two year olds, they're two year olds do that. They're they're hardwired to do that. They are, but, however, this documentary also explains that there are uh, multiple conditions through life, uh, social anxiety disorder and uh, bipolar disorder that medical science believes that we need medication for um, mm. the terrible twos being one example that uh, parents and doctors believe that a child at two years old should be medicated isn't that a little bit insane oh that is very big time insane yes and, and uh, you should you, except for a little aspirin or what ne- antibiotics needs to get rid of the childhood diseases um, you don't medicate kids until after puberty yeah. Come on, because then, then they have the adult hormones and testosterone and estrogen and all that stuff going in that they can, because their bodies are going through that, you know, they're in the right phase. But even so, um, we are such a pill-popping culture right now. That's why I, I'm vehemently against it. And thank God I only have to take one stupid pill to stay, you know, to stay out of a straitjacket. That's good. <laughs> yeah, well, I fake, I fake a lot of the other stuff, too, and you folks in government, yeah, you heard it, and I told you, you can't prove it otherwise. Oh, well, you're taking the medications that are not prescribed by the FDA. No, it's uh, what's prescribed by my psychiatrist. Oh. Just the one pill, that's it. That's I don't good. touch anything else unless it comes out of a bottle. Oh. I self-medicate, but then again, I'm a third generation Irish bartender. So we know how to self-medicate our way from the pain and from the idiocy. We can only walk away so many times though before we turn up and you know give them their comeuppance, as it were. Yeah. So again, the name of that documentary is "The Marketing of Madness." The Marketing of all, Madness. Okay. Are we all insane? It's almost three hours, but it's a lot of information about how we dope ourselves up and come up with some reason to do it. 
Yeah. Meta. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, see him, but see me kicking up. That's okay. My lungs are still there. Just they want to burst out, and uh, I don't want to keep them. I want to keep them inside my chest. Yeah. It's gonna be a battle for about the next 15, 20 years, but that's okay. Okay. I'm ready. I'm too. St I'm too stubborn to throw my lungs up. At least we hope so. Okay. Um. I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, the clock on the wall says about 25 till the hour. So, uh, hopefully, if, uh, ooh, there's polka dots. No, nope. wrong one. Okay, there's two girls out there with polka dots. One's supposed to come in and play a song with me in a little bit. Uh, but, well, we can chat until she shows up. Okay. And, uh, okay, um, what do we have on tap for next week? Oh, tap, I don't know. Uh, perhaps a little Al Jolson, maybe the Nicholas Brothers. I don't know. Okay, well, that sounds good on there. And, um, uh, yeah, was did Sasmo uh, die of uh, of cancer or was he pushed? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he may have been the second gunman on the Degrassi Knoll. Oh yes, and he sat there and instead of blowing his horn, he might have just popped popped another tune, like the Pipe Piper. All right, sir. I, as always, I appreciate when people call up. And this, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, I got another. Uh, I got another uh, guest uh, waiting to come in if I can. Yeah, yeah, you can come in this way, sweetie. And, um, well, I give me a ring same time next week, and we'll catch up. And we'll catch the rest of the world up on what's crazy and what's not. It's, uh, it's the conspiracy of the week here on Spider Mike Saturday Night on River West Radio. All right, bye. Bye-bye, Spider. All right, and that's, hello, hello, yeah, there we go, and that's going to be one of our new segments. Hey, here comes Don and Haley. Okay. be a junkie sticking needles in my arm. 
Better be a junkie. Sticking needles in the hole. You know, my baby says I heard her. Uh, I wouldn't do any harm. No boys. Okay, and that one can go on forever. Help me finish that one, and I got a five dollar bill I can put in your pocket. All right, let's see what else we got here today. Trust me, the last couple of weeks I haven't had as much practice as I usually do, but... All right, um, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to listen to uh, my favorite... My favorite new punk rock group is called Dead Air, and this is their number one single, Ambient Noise in the video store. I'll be back in a moment. And as usual, that's a really rocking tune, yeah. Thank you for dead air. And I'm going to be on tour with them in two weeks from tonight down in Sturdivant at this little old gin mill uh, called the uh, Kipps Racing Lounge. Uh, I'll be the opening act for, um, for the boys and girls. And we're going to have fun, and I'm going to have to take the day off, but we'll, we'll have something for you to listen to. I'm going to set up a, a compilation of all the uh, all my summer guests, and um, you guys just tune in and listen to Common Man, Conscripted, Jordan Boss, Stephanie Chaff, and 20, 23BC, and Foot, among others. So uh, we're going to leave you with an old... Pink Floyd tune. 
And once again, I told you I was never going to play it again since his mom was dead, but hey, I still got to ask her questions, right? Mm. Do you think you'll drop the ball? Mother, do you think you like this song? Coming up on that time to say good night, say goodbye. And this is Spider Mike on Spider Mike Saturday night saying, remember, one and all, 
Life happens, karma ensues, and peace. We'll see you next week. And remember, coming up next is Jockwave Radio on River West Radio.